Welcome, welcome, creators and gamers. Today I got a special treat for you guys. We're not just playing some silly little game. We're getting into an MMO. Friend introduced to me a new MMO. It's a great game. It looks like a great game. An MMO is a massively multiplayer online game. That means it's a huge online world where people come in and play together. It's not you and a friend getting on LAN, LAN, and beating up some zombies. It means you're getting into a big world full of people from around the physical world. So, today we're going to be playing Arcade. Here you can see a character I've already created. I plan to do uh, some of the... I plan to show some of the character creation in the next video. Pretty fun character customization. You got four different characters to choose from. The music's great. The art's great. If you don't get any art inspiration from this, I don't know what you need. Maybe you're just looking for the wrong thing. Or maybe you're just... You're just doing something weird. I've gotten to, I've heard two different kind of reports on my gaming. Um, some people think my Skyrim videos are boring. Some think that they're too short. I was trying to make them short and fast for you guys, but uh, I'm going to keep going kind of in the middle. And if you don't want to watch them, don't watch them. If you enjoy them and you want something different, give me a comment. Take a look at this freaking game. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Awesome thing about Arcage I've uh, learned is you can build your own boat, your own house. It's definitely the MMO we've been waiting for. Uh, as you might know, I'm looking forward to EverQuest next because of its kind of uh, very player-oriented system. I mean, in that game you will change the world. But whatever, anyway. Uh, Arcage is spectacular. There's detail everywhere. You can light a candle. There's little details like that that make it more realistic. There's awesome creatures, the colors, everything's beautiful. I'm not sure uh, where it's made at. It looks like a Korean game, I'm guessing. Um, but it definitely gives you that sense of freedom and creation. What I have here is an elf, as you can see. I chose a face painting for him. Apparently he doesn't like my video. Anyway, <clears throat> we'll take a look around here. Notice the architecture, the plants, the mountains around. There's not a lot of flat land. There's a lot of bushes, a lot of plants. Look at the textures on the wood. Excellent, excellent, guys. And this isn't even maxed out. I mean, I got a bit of ways before maxing out this game, especially while it's videoing, uh, recording, and being online, which also creates more lag and, you know, all that good, bad stuff. Anyway, check this out. Look at that. Look at that ornate bed design. Floor. Treasure chest. Some kind of chest. Very nice. Look at that lighting. Look at the sounds. And look, look what the hell is that? Take a look at that. That's what I love about these kind of games. Finding surprises like this, running around, seeing what's friendly, seeing what's deadly. That's what it's all about. And better even if you got someone else to do it with. Don't know what that was all about, but I like it. I like it. Do it again. Oh, we go inside. Seems the closer it gets, we just kind of go inside. That might be this graphic level, but it might just be the... I don't know. A negative in the game. A little tiny negative. That's not much, guys. 
so far it's got an awesome appeal to me. And whatever the hell that is, look at that. That's awesome. Last MMO I've been playing, I've played was uh, Guild Wars 2. Beautiful world, but I've got respect for Guild Wars and their business structure. But um, this game is definitely pushing it to the next level. Look at that little guy, That's so awesome. We'll be killing them later. Let's see what else is out here. Ah, look at that thing next to me. What is that? What do you think that is, huh? Eh? I don't know. I don't know. Neither does he. Just look how uh, the air in this game looks actually... You know, there's an actual feel of atmosphere here. There's little details like birds flying around, wind, uh, a lot of stuff like that. It's coming back. Wish I had more time to play games like this. This is awesome. Look at that. Look at the design. Two women cooking. Women. Beautiful women and the food. Nothing better than that. Not on my plate. <laughs> Look at that. I love those shoes. Look at her shoes. Look at her pants. Freaking awesome. I'm gonna have to get my wife some of those. Look at that. Shadow from a bird. That's what I'm talking about. Music, very nice. Something you can hear for hours and it won't bother you. Excellent, excellent. Haven't been had a haven't had time to mess around with the UI too much. Here's the map. I like the style of the map. It's got that old-fashioned look. I like cool detailed maps that you zoom in and you actually see kind of the real game, but uh I do like that old style map in an excellent looking world. Here we got the crazy deer. And no more crazy deer. Decent battle. I'd say overall the battle has a similar feel to most MMOs, most current MMOs. Uh, the difference is you, I believe you actually hold a button down. Uh, I'm not sure what else. Pretty customizable little UI, just uh, to a certain degree. Don't need much more than that, as long as it doesn't interfere with uh, what you're looking at. Let's get this one. Use my bow. All right, all right. Ooh, it's hurting me quite a bit. I'm just trying to get myself killed somehow so I can get back to some starting point. We can see more about the game there and how to run it. How to play it. I like my dead body. It looks so... real. So limp. Alright, here we go. Dead body. Still looking dead. Realistic. Let's see how you... Ooh! Quick rise with a heart. Rise with a heart. Okay, here we go. Let's try to find some quest or some kind of tutorial. Learn these controls a little bit. Ah, oh, look at that background. This is beautiful. Why doesn't our world look like this, huh? Why doesn't our world look like this? Because we don't have elves. We have humans. Modern humans. Don't like that. When you get too close, you kind of... Uh, they just disappear. You don't even see that... 
outline of their body like in other games. Uh, you still see the edge kind of, but here they just completely disappear. They have no insides. The inside is the outside. Game's running pretty smooth. Um, lag sometimes. A little bit. In their internet and graphic lag, maybe. Maybe both. But um, it's not too bad. If you really want to push a game and you see it's lagging from graphic power or lack of graphic power, then uh, if you're playing these kind of games, always do a 360 turnaround completely. If it's not smoother after that, a little bit, it doesn't sink in into the game, into the vision, what's around, then, uh, then you probably should lower your graphics. My goodness. Don't elves have a little bit smaller shades? Well, I guess these are not just your everyday ordinary elves. These are some multi-elves created for the Asian market. Asian gaming market. That's what it looks like. Anyway, okay, let's see. The Field of Horror is a grand tournament when young elven warriors compete in, in a display of in a display and martial prowess. Don't disappoint me, Lazarus. She said my name. When you accept a quest, it's automatically added to the quest tracker on the right side of your screen. Hello you can there. then follow the arrow beneath your feet to the location of the quest's objectives. Definitely want to get on this game and play with my friend. Your position on the mini map is shown. When you accept a though quest, it's I think I'll added. have to go to a different server, and that server doesn't allow elves. The I might have to. Off it, being an elf. But I do want to play with him. He could definitely show me the ropes here. Oh, what's that? What's that? Let's go over there. Let's go over there. What is this? Hello. Heading off to the field of honor. Why don't you try out what you've learned here before you go? All right, guys. I guess that's where we'll stop it for now. Uh, my first quest, my first quest, is to kill some of those little root guys and then some deer next time i'll be filming this i will have finished uh, killing those little guys and i'll report back to you and back to the leader of the quest and find out what we need to do next i hope you guys enjoy this series if you like it i will definitely play uh arcage more for you i think it's a beautiful game you can build Boats, houses, you can attack each other's boats. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm forgetting, I forgot. Watch the video. You can watch some other videos about the game, learn how awesome it is, and here we can sit down and explore it together. So, have a great night. Remember, if this didn't inspire you, I don't know what will. Until next time.